Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is VSL Hasu League round of 32 group C upper right hand corner. We got Tucson starting as the red Terran, red Terran bottom right hand corner. We got Atentat as the blue Zerg. This is on Polypoid. I think I might have called Polypoid Neo Sylphid accidentally. Looking at the map again, I didn't even realize Polypoid was in this map pool. Uh, my brain defaults to that. My brain defaults to Neo Sylphid right this second when I see four player maps for some reason. So in the past, if I called the map Neo Sylphid instead of Polypoid, just know that that was the case. Not that it matters. Not sure why I'm talking about this right this second anyway. Both these guys return contenders from BSL. I think Tucson might have hit a best of four. Trying to think if Atentat has breached the best of eight. But both of these guys, pretty strong contenders. And again, there's not a single guy in this field that I see. Like, I certainly see strong standouts. They're guys that I'm like, I'm expecting them to the round of four or at least a final. Interesting positioning here for Tucson. Look at this. This is a cutesy play. <clears throat> so he's building the barracks out of position and at a forward location. Depending on when this scouts, there might be... We'll see how he follows this up. Uh, but it's possible he's trying to get his opponent to think, okay, and he's gonna try to do a box out as well. The forward barracks will give him the opportunity to get Marines towards the natural expansion in an aggressive manner, which could play amazingly for him. But the secondary thing this might do is he might be giving the false information that, hey, I was going for fast command center style build, something along those lines, where I have fewer barracks than I actually do. In the meantime, Antat's opening up with an 11 hatch, which allows Zerglings to get out a little bit faster against something exactly like this, but that barracks at the forward location might be able to cancel out those gains. And we see, what is this? So the SCV is actually, con yeah, going for the, never mind. He's just double scouting to confirm his opponent's location and seeing the fact that it is a hatchery first opener, he's got to feel good about it. And a refinery behind this, huh? So now this is maybe not just a forward barracks pressure, but potentially a 1-1-1 to start. So Tucson's in a, a disguised mock 1-1-1 with the barracks out of position. So this overlord's gonna move up. It's gonna see the barracks dropping very, very late. And that's gotta be, or no barracks at all. And that's gotta be big alarm, but no, and no supply dip. So yeah, interesting. And let's see if Antet feels the fact that his overlord isn't being pressured and recognizes something's up. And he's just going about his builder to right the second, but the SCV now dashing to the bottom right-hand corner with two Marines, the spawning pool just about to finish. And Attentat has not saved a lot of larva right this second. And he's gonna lose an Overlord at the natural expansion as well, which is whenever you lose something this early, it's brutal. So just getting the drone pull very, very late. The Marines, however, not getting behind, not staggering themselves. And so they're ending up, yeah, they took out a drone, but the drone's actually ending up in a pretty good attack pattern around them. However, three have already been taken out, and two, despite being heavily damaged, you're able to sneak across. So several kills, and that's well in range of that natural expansion. There are still problems where Tucson doesn't have this forward base sealed. He's dropping a factory to follow this up. Creep Colony's taking some damage between the Marines and everything else. Finally, some Zerglings potentially going to get out in the field. These drones have been isolated and that creep colony is going to drop and that was a pressure uh, this was a sorry a precious worker that Attentat did not have a lot have a lot of so it looks like tucson very likely is going to take this game one considering all of the damage he's done so and with the sneaky follow-up with the factory and everything else i'm not sure that was even required after the initial pressure with the marines in the bunker so that hatchery is certainly going to drop only two drones right now so maybe a panic over pole of drones as well. The Zergling's now gonna filter back across with the drones, take out that bunker. That will save that natural expansion. But this is still just six workers and not a lot of follow-up. And it's gonna be quite some time, especially if Tucson opts to go for a starport, which he is. It's gonna be a really long time before there's any anti-air out here for Attentat. So the Zergling's starting to make their way towards the front. This is a front door seal. We got a Marine, actually, is that, a, I think that's a, I'm trying to remember the, the, the saying, whether it's like barracks below, but the Vulture right there, first of all, should provide plenty of support against this to defend. So SCV dies, natural expansion not, hasn't been taken. Let's see if Attentat is able to respond in kind. That SCV is still getting the scouting information, seeing no tech to layer. 
And does Attentat now realize? He, I don't think he saw the Vulture, so I don't think he's even going to have the wherewithal to drop. No, he's going. Yeah, oh, he's teching to layer. So everything going wrong right this second. Now scouts the Vulture. He's got to rapidly get down uh, something calling at the natural, but that's again a drone he can't afford. So maybe just going to try to defend it. Yeah, clever position now. Going to try to defend it at that third and use the high ground lack of vision there to f to make it all, all the harder for that vulture. But here's the thing: the big threat is not necessarily the vulture. Even it's going to be that uncontested wraith. As far as a follow-up, Tucson doing his best to still try to peel off some of these zerglings as best he can. We do have a, a sunken colony being built on the front, but any form of anti-air is still quite a ways away. And the drone count was already severely low. A command center being dropped behind this to go ahead and expand mines being researched. That vulture still able to go the long way around. He's not going to be able to breach the natural expansion. Ooh, gets actually decked there. Attentat is kind of forced in a position where he's just got to stick with the zerglings he has. Try to defend with that. Oh, the control tower, I don't know that was necessary. So now, first Wraith out. That's going to kill an Overlord. That's going to put Attentat in the red on top of everything else. He's got the lair up, but maybe now he can drop the Spire, uh, despite being in the red, to get some anti-air. Attentat having to deal with those vultures now. The Zerglings, yeah, just going for an, the counter as best they can. They're actually getting trapped between point A and point B, working on that supply depot. There's the Vulture on either side, and that should be GG once these Zerglings are cleaned up. The Wraith has made its way back to the bottom right. Great play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.